The following program is a special presentation of District 8 Fellowship of Christian Athletes, the heart and soul in West Ohio sports. FCA was such a huge part of my own spiritual growth and development as a teenager. I think it's important because we can express our relationship with God in the school. Uh, it's not necessarily, I mean, it takes place in the school. Um, I think it's good because we can preach the Word of God to other people in our school because I feel like that's kind of a dying tradition and we need to get back to it. Uh, I know being an athlete, being in a relationship with Jesus Christ helps keep me straight because there's a lot of things in a high school life that can keep you off that path. FCA to me is like another home. Like, I can go to church any day of the week, but FCA is just, it's like a midweek thing for me. It means I don't have to wait till Sunday to go to church or Wednesday. I can just come here on Fridays and just be with a whole lot of people who love Jesus. I want people to realize that you like don't have to be afraid to show what you believe in. And you don't have to go with your peers and do whatever they have to do. I want people to not feel alone. He has a path for us in that even while high school seems like a hectic uh, time and um, sports are stressful and everyone wants to do good. Um, he's got a path for us and it'll uh, work out if we follow him. Adversity is going to strike you in athletics and high school and just any aspect of your life, even after school. God will never abandon us. And it's just, if you think about it, it's someone who's always going to be there for you, almost like your best friend. He's always there, no matter what's going on. And that's, that's something that, you know, it, it's hard to think about in the moment. But, you know, just, just saying his name and knowing that he's there is a very big deal and it's, it's awesome. So I just want to encourage you guys tonight to not leave here the same. That if you're a Christian, speak to more people for Christ. If you're not a Christian, talk to somebody. Accept Christ into your life because I'm telling you what, you're never going to find fulfillment. You're never going to find peace. You're never going to find joy. Just as every single person before me has come up here and said.